What if the glittering stone in your hand wasn't gold at all? What if the treasure you thought you discovered was actually something else? A mineral that has tricked miners, explorers, and treasure hunters for centuries. That mineral is pyrite. Known across the world as fool's gold, pyrite looks almost identical to real gold at first glance. It sparkles in the sunlight, shines with a golden luster, and excites anyone who dreams of finding hidden riches. But here's the truth. Pyrite is not gold, and yet this mineral carries its own fascinating story. From ancient civilizations who worshipped it, to modern collectors who admire its beauty, to scientists who study its unique properties. Today, we reveal the real signs of pyrite, why it's so often mistaken for gold, and how you can identify it without being fooled. Stay with me until the end, because once you learn these signs, you'll never look at pyrite the same way again. 1. What is pyrite? Pyrite is an iron sulfide mineral with the chemical formula FES2. Its name comes from the Greek word pyre, meaning fire, because it produces sparks when struck with steel. In fact, pyrite was used for thousands of years as a fire starter, long before humans mastered matches or lighters. It forms in a variety of geological environments, in quartz veins, sedimentary rocks, coal beds, and even in hydrothermal vents deep on the ocean floor. It can grow in clusters, nodules, or striking cubic crystals that look almost too perfect to be natural. Throughout history, pyrite has had many uses. Native Americans used it for mirrors, polishing flat pieces to a reflective shine. In Europe, pyrite was used in the mechanisms of early firearms, helping ignite gunpowder. Today, it's popular in jewelry and crystal collections for its glittering appearance. But pyrite isn't just a practical mineral, it's also deeply symbolic. For some cultures, it represented the sun, fire, and even life itself. For others, it was a stone of protection, carried as a shield against harm. So while pyrite may not be gold, it has always been much more than just a worthless rock. Why pyrite gets mistaken for gold? The reason pyrite earned the nickname Fool's Gold is simple. To the untrained eye, it looks almost exactly like gold. First, pyrite has a bright, metallic luster that glimmers in the sunlight. Second, its golden yellow color mimics the warm glow of real gold. Third, it's often found in the same regions where gold is discovered, in quartz veins, riverbeds, and ore deposits. For centuries, inexperienced miners and prospectors have mistaken pyrite for gold. During the California gold rush of the 1800s, Countless hopeful diggers celebrated their big find, only to realize they had nothing but pyrite. The heartbreak was so common that Fool's Gold became a permanent nickname. Even today, beginners still fall into the same trap. But the good news is, once you know the real signs, telling pyrite from gold becomes easy. 2. The Real Signs of Pyrite So how do you tell the difference? Here are the true signs of pyrite that every collector and enthusiast should know. Color pyrite is a pale, brassy yellow, sometimes with hints of green or brown. Real gold, on the other hand, has a richer, deeper golden tone. When placed side by side, gold's color is warmer, while pyrite looks more metallic. Shape pyrite often forms sharp angular crystals, cubes, octahedrons, or even pyroidohedrons with flat faces and edges. Gold rarely forms crystals like this. Instead, gold appears in smooth, irregular nuggets or flakes. If your gold looks too geometric, it's probably pyrite. Hardness pyrite is harder than gold. On the Mohs hardness scale, pyrite measures 6 to 6.5, meaning it can scratch glass. Gold, by contrast, is very soft at 2.5 to 3 and can be scratched with a simple copper coin. If your stone scratches glass, it's pyrite, not gold. Density. This is one of the easiest tests. Gold is extremely dense, about 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. Pyrite is much lighter, only around 5 grams per cubic centimeter. If two stones are the same size, the one that feels dramatically heavier is gold. Streak test. The streak test never lies. Scratch pyrite on unglazed porcelain, and it leaves a greenish black streak. Gold, however, leaves a bright golden yellow streak. This test alone can separate the two instantly. 
Brittleness versus malleability. Pyrite is brittle and will shatter or crumble if struck with a hammer. Gold is malleable. It bends, flattens, or shapes without breaking. Early miners quickly learned this distinction. Put all these signs together and you can identify pyrite with absolute certainty. Cultural and spiritual value. Even though pyrite isn't gold, it's far from worthless. In fact, pyrite has fascinated humans for thousands of years. In ancient South America, the Incas polished pyrite into mirrors and used them in rituals, believing the reflective surface could connect them with spiritual realms. In medieval Europe, pyrite was believed to ward off danger and illness. Today, in the world of metaphysical healing, pyrite is considered a stone of protection and abundance. It is thought to shield against negative energy, boost confidence, and inspire creativity. Some even call it the stone of hidden wealth, not because it's gold, but because it encourages people to find value in unexpected places. Collectors treasure pyrite for its crystal forms, sharp golden cubes and clusters that look almost artificial in their perfection. Jewelry makers use polished pyrite beads and cabochons to create unique, shimmering designs. So while pyrite may have disappointed gold seekers, it has always been a stone of wonder and mystery. 4. Why it matters, pyrite versus gold. Now you might be asking, why does it matter if a stone is gold or pyrite? For one, it prevents disappointment and scams. Many fake gold nuggets sold online are nothing more than pyrite. By knowing the difference, you protect yourself and your money. Second, pyrite can actually lead you to real gold. In geology, pyrite is known as a gold indicator mineral. Gold often forms in the same environments as pyrite, so finding pyrite in a deposit can sometimes signal that real gold is nearby. And finally, pyrite teaches us an important lesson. Value isn't always what it seems. A stone doesn't have to be gold to be extraordinary. Pyrite, with its fire, history, and unique beauty, has its own kind of worth. So the next time you see a sparkling golden stone in the sunlight and wonder, did I just find treasure? Pause for a moment. Check the color. Look at the shape. Try the streak test. It might not be gold. It might not make you rich. But it might be pyrite, the glittering mineral that fooled the world, yet still carries its own mystery, beauty, and story. Because sometimes the real treasure isn't wealth. It's knowledge.